there were fireworks early in, in the trial when Flemmy uh, named Steve Davis as, as a rat, as he put it, a drug dealer. Uh, it caused Steve Davis to get up and say, you're a liar, uh, right in the courthouse. Uh, Judge Casper had to come in and settle things down. Right away, uh, Flemmy maintained, though, he, he was mistaken. Uh, he was talking about Mickey Davis, their brother. What he had said about me was my concern, and it was corrected real quick. And he came back with, like, two apologies on that. Bolger maintained that he had not killed women, specifically Deborah Hussey and Deborah Davis. But we had Flemmy there saying, right there from the witness stand, that he never strangled Deborah Hussey. It was Bolger right in the basement because they had become a problem. She was the daughter of, of Flemmy's longtime girlfriend. He raised her, he admitted. He, you know, he was like a father figure to her. But as she got older, she got involved in, in drugs and, and had run-ins with the law, he said, and she became a problem. So Bolger decided they needed to kill her. He said he, he resisted at first, but yielded to it because she had become a problem. So he brought her to a South Boston home where he said James Bulger came out from behind and choked her, grabbed her, strangled her. They lost their balance at one point and fell, but continued to, uh, Bulger continued to strangle her until they, she died. And they buried her in that South Boston home, uh, according to Flemmy. Flemmy last week had said that uh, he and Bulger lured Deborah Davis to a house and that Bulger killed her as well. So again, this was significant in that uh, Flemmy's naming Bulger and, and the murder of two women, uh, something that Bulger has long denied. This is Milton Valencia with the Boston Globe.